Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Big plays in the last episode, at least as far as I'm concerned. We unlocked Blue Baby, but we also unlocked Samson, and I can't not play as Samson. It's been so long, and I've been trying to earn this uh, for so long. I've heard that Samson is actually pretty good now. He starts with Rage. You can see his base stats there. It looks like his, uh, his range is really high. I think that's range anyway. Uh, there's the seed SG3D DFE9. SG3D DFE9. If I ever don't show the seed, like right at the start, I might show it later. And if you see it later, make sure to leave a comment and just be like, hey, this is what the seed is. And then hopefully uh, people will upvote it to the top so that my idiocy can be compensated for. I'll try to put them in the description as well, that's why I've been doing a better job of uh, showing them at the start because it's only punishing myself when I don't show them at the start and then I have to watch like 20 minutes of my own video to figure it out and I'm like, oh man, what am I fucking talking about? So again, I've heard that uh, Samson is actually maybe good now, which blows my mind because he's been hated for a while. Um, but apparently there's been changes to Rage. I don't know the specifics of the changes, but I've seen people say that maybe not only is he good, but he's like, great. I don't know, maybe it uh, doesn't cap? That would be the most obvious change. Uh, that, would, that would make it like, demonstrably better, is maybe Rage doesn't cap as low as it capped before. I'll be honest with you though, I just have no effing idea. For now though. It does seem like I get a pretty nice bonus pretty quickly. Hopefully we can get some uh, upgrades like that. For example, Common Cold is a uh, fantastic upgrade for us. I would love to see a higher rate of fire as well. Like, our rate of fire right now is fine. But it could be better. Our shots feel like really like you're shooting them out of a, a, a Gatling. Well, not a Gatling gun. Like an artillery cannon or something like that. They're like, tung, tung, tung. Feels like they got some serious work going on there. All right. Well, we got Common Cold. Common Cold is an item that I think is really good. We got Rage as well. Uh, Common Cold, I should say, is really good in vanilla. I don't think I've had it in Rebirth yet, but I don't really have uh, any ideas what they would have changed about it if they changed anything. Free poison damage will always be something that uh, I welcome. Free damage of any kind, I guess. Larry Jr. went down very, very easily. He's not quite dead, but let's be honest, it's a foregone conclusion at this point that he will be. Old bandage. So here's the thing, I don't know, uh, and I don't necessarily, this isn't a call for spoilers, but there's a lot of bandage items in the game. I have gotten two bandage items that changed my orbital into a different kind of orbital. Which, you know, is basically a palette swap version of an earlier one, which was pretty cute. But I don't know if there's, if there's anything more to it than that. Like, maybe if you get even more bandage items, you can get even further transformations. I don't know, I haven't quite gotten that far yet. I'm just saying, anytime there's items that share a theme in Isaac, it's very tempting to just kind of try to go down the rabbit hole, right? I'm going to go around this whole room in a circle here, rather than try to fight back against the, uh, the way the current's going there. All right. So again, uh, Deals with the Angel did so well for us last run. But I will be, you know, taking deals with the devil if they show up. Deals with the devil, deals with the angel, doesn't really matter to me. All that matters to me is we win and give ourselves also, if possible, the best chance possible of uh, fighting Satan. And until we actually, like, unlock Shoal for real, or unlock the cathedral for real, you know what gives us the best chance possible of fighting Satan? Goathead. No question about it. So if we can get that, I would be thrilled. Scapular. Good item. Didn't fully understand it. Well, didn't, didn't understand it at all until relatively recently in vanilla. But I believe when we get down to a half red heart, not an interval, like one 0 0.5 uh, red hearts, it gives us a spirit heart to keep us alive a little bit longer. In a way, uh, at a certain amount of HP, it almost has a similar effect to Holy Mantle, where you can get hit once per room. Um, the, the difference is it only applies at a lower amount of HP. And it only works like once per room. If you get hit twice per room, you'll just be dead. If you're that low, anyway. Alright, what did I tell Is there some bug in the game where I'm... Am I just getting, like, exceptionally great luck, and it really is great luck, that I end up fighting Monstro so often? Like, don't get me wrong. I love variety, I like some of the new bosses, but anytime I get the opportunity to fight Monstro, sign me up. I think he's maybe the, the uh, easiest of the first floor bosses. Even easier than Larry Jr., who we, like, totally dismantled. But, uh... 
I'm gonna take damage there because I'm a ding dong. That's okay. I, I stood right in the path of that, so we don't really deserve a deal with the angel here. That's unfortunate, but hopefully we'll be able to get some spirit hearts maybe on the next floor that'll give us a better chance at it then. I'm a little sad with myself here. I really thought we'd be doing a little bit more damage considering we killed like 10 flies. I thought Monstro would go down a little faster than he actually is. There we go. That poison damage will help out. And he's dead. Squeezy's fine. I mean, it's pretty much what I asked for, right? We'll get two spirit hearts and a tears upgrade. And I'd say we're leaving the first couple of floors a little strong, but not necessarily overpowered. I think our Eden run last time was definitely more powerful uh, by this point, but cool. Four HP, two spirit hearts. That's basically halfway to the HP cap. And we are now on the caves with a song that I still think sounds like a Hotline Miami interlude and everyone tells me I'm crazy. Which might be true, but I still think it sounds like a Hotline Miami interlude. The state, the, the state of my mental health uh, notwithstanding. I will shoot this golden poop, even though it's a, a waste of time. And we are going to need to be a little bit faster or get the broken watch on more runs if we want to uh, unlock every item in the game, which of course we do. But again, that's something that we can... Uh, we can tackle as we get a little bit further in our Isaac career, I suppose. We can start doing the speed runs that are necessary to be done to, to get all the uh, the unlocks. But anyway, for now, even though we have not discovered our item room, I feel uh, relatively powerful enough to go up against this boss, and I think we've got a very good chance of not getting uh, hit five times. Sun card's super good. And of course, now that I say that, I realize we're going up against Gertie Jr., who I think may have been nerfed but is still kind of a pain in the ass just on principle alone. Now, old Gertie Jr., I was gonna say, spawns some enemies, which is actually very important for us here because I'd like to build up our rage. Our base damage is, uh, you know, probably not inadequate, but not that good. Took a little bit of damage, but that's no big deal. Should be basically guaranteed a deal with the devil here. I do think they've maybe nerfed Gertie Jr. a little bit, and I'm happy. I think Gertie Jr. was, well, they've nerfed it by making it a second floor boss instead of a first floor boss anyway. All right, let's hope Goathead plus something else. Brimstone, I'm in. I like it. Now, people have been complaining about the Brimstone sound effect. Uh, it's not that noisy for us here. I think it'll be fine, but if you're complaining about the Brimstone sound effect, you let me know. I still don't want to hear any complaints about Brimstone because we're very early on in the Isaac series. This is only, I think, the second time in, like, 22 episodes that I've had it. At some point, it may bear, uh you know, self-limiting. But for now, I refuse to tolerate any complaints about it. Especially because I think Brimstone is one of those items that got so much cooler in Rebirth. And it's actually, it's, it was already good, and it got better, in my opinion. <laughs> that was it's one way to avoid taking damage. Not just better, like, offensively or defensively or whatever, but better from, like, a, it's more fun to use, because the synergies exist. Uh, we'll definitely check out our item room, looking for more synergies. That's Infestation 2? Yeah, so this uh, allows us to spawn spiders on some of our hits, I think, which is incredible. Are we really gonna use a key to try to get to our, uh, our secret room, or like our key to use on the shop and then hope that maybe we get enough money somehow to make it worthwhile? Oh, maybe when we kill an enemy that's been infested, it turns into a spider. All right, now I'm starting to feel like this run might be a little bit stronger than our last one. With two bombs, I'm gonna look here for the secret room. Come on, be good. All right. Uh, we'll check out our mob trap room first. Hopefully, eh, we picked up some more bombs, which is okay. And there's some cool items that have uh, spider synergy. I've got to admit that I really thought that that was quad shot for a second in that item room. Infestation 2 is still pretty good, obviously, but I was like, quad shot brimstone? That's like, it's what we've been waiting for, man. It's the stuff of legend. But uh, being able to instantly spawn, not instantly, but quickly spawn as many spiders as possible is great, too. So I'm actually, I'm trying some, some funky stuff here. I don't even know if this would work. My hope is that that was the secret room so that I could bomb my way into the secret room without actually taking any damage. Because if you go in through the non-spike doors, you don't take damage, obviously. But it's over here. Which is fine as well, and uh, we got a little bit of money out of it. And for two bombs, we can blow up both of these statues, maybe get something back. We got two pennies for it, which is not what I needed. So you know what? I, uh, I'll go to the cursor room, but I don't think I'm going to be going to the shop. That's fine. So we'll wait until the next floor to, to give our love to the shop. Unfortunately, 
can't get all that money that's just kind of sitting there. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And we'll head down to the next floor with not as much HP, but certainly a lot of killing power here, which I'm very excited about. This could be our Samson speedrun here. You could be my lucky star, Samson. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay the F away from this. And all of these rooms should go down pretty easily now. I love New Brimstone so much. I wish it showed up a little bit more often, but, you know, this allows me to keep the fire alive in our relationship. It's, uh, absence makes the fart grow fonder, I think. Good. Money, please. Uh, Child's Heart. I mean, we're not using anything else. We might as well take it. Bob's Curse, I would say, is an acceptable item. Child's Heart will give us some more HP. One Bomb will give us three more cents, which seems like a... Shrewd decision, I'd say. We're actually getting our shots charged pretty quickly here, probably thanks to Squeezy. And is it really worth 15 cents to buy the tarot cards? On the one hand, we don't have a spacebar item, so it seems like kind of a no-brainer, but on the other hand, we could buy a different spacebar item or a different item in general later, so I don't know. Alright. You can only... N oh, interesting. What I was gonna say is you can only not fight Gertie for so long. I knew that my time was coming. Gertie, you gotta pay the Gertie tax every now and then. So we're building up some nice rage here. I don't think we're gonna take any more damage. That's always my hunch, though. Or usually my, my, my hunch, anyway. My hunch, my hunch. It seems to come up a lot lately. I love that new curved effect on the Brimstone, by the way. A lot of you guys called it out in uh, an earlier episode, and I agree. I think that the fact that the Brimstone laser kind of curves when you move with it is really cool. No deal with the devil, but HP is pretty much all I can ask for there. Super happy with it. That's going to be the most limiting factor on our run here, so... At least for now. So I'm happy to have it. The only thing else I can really complain about is no ability to fly, but... Not that big of a deal. We could leave, and again, there is... There's a reason to do that. Because there's some cool stuff that you can get for being really fast. But I kind of would feel bad if I did that, and then ended up not getting powerful enough. Like, I missed out on some stuff and that caused me to lose the run, which is definitely not outside of the realm of possibility. I like that it spawns the spiders wherever the enemy actually was, so that um, in situations like that, that spider actually could have helped us out a lot. It chose not to. That's okay, though. You like that? I almost walked on the spikes there. Oh, come on, frame rate. I don't know why. Like, once per run, Isaac just gets like this. Rebirth just gets like this, I should say. It's just like, you know what? I'm gonna crap out for a minute here. It's not that big of a deal. Probably because of something I got going on in the background there, but for the most part it runs so smoothly that it, uh... It's kind of like doubly distracting, I guess. If it always ran like shit, we would never notice. Check out our curse room quickly, and sure, that was well worth it. It's got a brimstone thing on the ground there. I have brimstone. You get any kind of special interaction for that? Probably not, huh? So if I was being truly 100% diligent, we could go to our boss trap room. But historically, boss trap rooms haven't been that good for me, so... I'm not going to bother gambling on our arcade too much. I'm also not going to bother... Um, with buying the tarot cards. We could. But I am going to pick up these three. And my hope is that that'll, uh, on the next floor, allow us to get up to some good stuff in the shop. But this shop, not so good. Not loving it. Maybe we can get Black Candle. That's the item we just unlocked. But for now, we'll take our spider army down to the next floor. And we're still ahead of the clock here. Let's check out our mob trap room right off the bat. Chance to get some good consumables here. Yeah, uh, I would say this worked out fairly well. A little bit of money. An eternal heart. That's the big one. I think we got a bomb out of it too. I'm going to pick up the eternal heart right away. It's pretty unlikely that we end up taking enough damage to not make that uh, stick around. And of course, zombies are your classic brimstone fodder. A little bit more. Alrighty. Shop is definitely viable now, and more than enough keys to do whatever we want to do. Wish I could have uh, hit the dingles there without actually breaking the poop, because that made it a little bit more dangerous, but we're fine. And I think this run is, you know, it's almost in, like, let's not build up such bad damage there. Like, let's not build up fake drama territory. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't want to call it a one run yet, but we're probably getting close to that. Not crazy fast. That's okay. Boss fights right here. Would love to get a deal with the devil. I still don't know what BFF really does, but I'll buy it. Your friends... Oh, it makes our spiders bigger, right? Yeah, they got slightly larger there, I think. 
We're on depths one, so I'll fight the boss right away. Monstro two. Well, we're pretty much two sides of the same coin here, Monstro. I love when you do this attack now because that'll give us some uh, some uh, flies, and when we kill those flies, we'll get our own spiders. It's kind of a nice uh, little bonus. We'll also get rage built up, so we really are heavily incentivized when we kill minions because we get spiders out of it and we get a damage built uh, bonus. So. I am uh, feeling very strong right now, especially against uh, units like Mom that spawn a lot of enemies. Units like Monstro 2 that spawn a lot of enemies. That should do it right there. And... We get Blood Clot. I like Blood Clot. Extra damage. Range probably doesn't matter, but the damage is nice. I was thinking that our Brimstone Shot is maybe not so crazy potent um, by itself. So I think this is pretty good. I would also love to get, uh, what is it called, like, BBF, like, Big Fly. And it makes your, uh, it makes flies and spiders much larger. Like, that would be some sweet synergy for us. But we're going to have to, we're going to have to luck out to find that, considering we only have one more shop. And again, I want to get Black Candle as well. We haven't seen it yet. What is this? Not a Joker card. I'll use it. We got to take the Sun card with us. It might be uh, one of the things that guarantees us a win here. Not that a win is necessarily guaranteed yet, but come on. At least, like, I, if I lose against Mom's Heart, I'm going to be very disappointed with myself. We'll put it that way. And I think this run is strong enough to tackle that, that secrets. It might be close, but that's why I'm going to our item room here. I want to get there legitimately. Um, but I want to make ourselves as strong as possible on the way. This room sucks, by the way. For reasons you can obviously just see yourselves. Well, we got Infamy. It wouldn't be a run if we didn't get Infamy. At least it's better than Bob's Brain. Little Chubby was well worth the, the BS we went through to get here. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck in a speed wobble. Okay, we're good. <laughs> that was a little dangerous. I thought maybe we'd get something special from those skulls. And... You chose to go in different directions, which is annoying. Don't do that. World card at least allows us to see the secret room as we're taking the sun with us. Where do these flies come from? Is that like something we got from a chest or something? I don't know. Maybe it was some... Ooh, oh, that's so bad. Something we got from Little Chubby? I don't know. I really hate those tractor beam rooms. Two extra keys. Yeah, that was worth it. So as long as we don't walk on any spikes, so we're going to take it very slow here. Don't walk on any spikes and we'll be able to... Uh, Take this eternal heart with us. We're at 15 minutes. I think it's conceivable we can get the special mode. The question is if we really want to... Uh, get it. Well, it would be it would be fitting because it's our first run as Samson. And we could go there instead of trying to get to an item room because we get our choice of good items in it. We don't have compass or anything though, so we're going to have to get a little lucky. Let's start making moves though. And if you haven't seen this before, you're in for a treat. No need to rush just yet. Play it cool. Be smart. That's how you win, Isaac. Rarely is it by trying to steamroll the game as quickly as possible. You're much better off just kind of slowing your roll. I know there's some money left back there. I'm too lazy to pick that up. Especially after that long conversation about how important it is to go slow. I'm half joking, of course. We're coming back this way anyway. Time is 16 minutes. You can accomplish a lot in 30 seconds, as you can see right there. Bad play on my part. That went well. Come on. One just died, I think. The other one just died. Joker? Joker. Okay, we'll use that right away. I gotta take Little Brimstone. Some people have been complaining about Little Brimstone already, but I got regular Brimstone. I gotta get double Brimstone going on here whenever possible. Just because it's funny. And now, uh, our damage when they actually line up is absurd, which I'll, I'll take it. Uh, that pill, I'll probably leave it for now. Yeah, this is amazing. Come on, creep. Come on, creep. Fair enough. I'll, <laughs> I'll take that room. Oh, I'm getting a little, little anxious about time. That was another minute gone by there, but 
We have explored probably close to 50% of the floor now. We've got to be coming across, if not our boss room, uh, at least an item room or a shop around here. Bit of a bold move. Oh, item room and shop. Okay. Uh, little Brimstone's also helping us out with our rate of fire, uh, or rate of generation of these spiders. Sure, you know what? We'll take Bum Friend. I don't think we've had him yet. I don't think he's very good. But there you go. And uh, Boss Key. Boss Key, I don't think is very good. <laughs> Alright, it looks like we are going to have a crack at this mode. So we got to beat Mom within 20 minutes. We have like 3 minutes to do it. It's Blue Mom. Uh, that doesn't bug me too much. This is a pretty incredible run right here. It's really our spiders that are that are doing the trick for us, but it's basically over. It's over. Dark Boy achieved. Hey, we didn't have that before. Okay, good. So we'll take our HP. Uh, I have to go in here first, just in case. So if you haven't seen this yet, there is a boss trap room that you have the ability to enter. And you basically rush every boss in the game. And you get a choice of four pretty good items. I've got to admit that I'm not totally sure what these symbols are. But I, I'm definitely... You can only take one of them. So I'm not going to take Shoot the Whoop, and I'm not going to take Bomb Bag. But I'll take... Um, take this one. Capricorn, all stats up. I feel pretty good about that. So it wasn't quite as uh, spectacular as I was hoping for. And there is a chance we could die on this room. But at the very least, we'll achieve it. We'll give it a try, and we'll get, uh, we got Dark Boy as well. I didn't expect this run to go nearly as well as it has gone. I'm also hoping that just by doing this, we can create so many spiders on these early bosses that for the late bosses, um, they'll just die pretty much instantly. We also get one more item at the end. The item at the end is more of a random draw. It's less of like a, uh, it's good automatically type thing. This is the only room, I think, in which I've gotten, well, it's the only room... Since release, I've gotten Mutant Spider in, like Quad Shot, which is what I was really hoping might show up here. So you might not even see all these enemies, because I'm trying to shoot them from as far away as possible. Oh, Northern Lion, you're being really cheesy here. No, you don't understand. We have to fight every boss up to the point uh, of the Mom fight. So every boss prior to, uh, prior to Mom in the pool. That all stats upgrade, is it worth it? Look, on a, like, an objective level, probably not worth it. But, because you gotta do it, it's worth it. Also, occasionally, I mean, not more than occasionally, you get a lot of red heart drops for killing the bosses, which allows you to kind of sustain your life. And, occasionally, you can see you get things like that uh, eternal heart back there. You might get spirit hearts as well. If you have this fight plus uh, Dark Bum, most of the time, you're gonna be totally safe. But really, the only time I can see you doing this um, is A, once, with each character to get all the unlocks. And then two, um, when you're already so powerful that it's just for fun. And that's pretty much where we're at on this run. I think this run, it, this is probably the coolest secret in Rebirth that I know of, at least right now. Um, and uh, I like it a lot. It incentivizes going quickly. This is what you get for beating Mom in under 20 minutes total. Is that, oh, that was my, no, that was Monstro's laser. Okay, I got confused there for a second. So we're getting through there. We might be closing in on the halfway mark. I don't know that we're quite there yet. I really want to avoid picking up that Eternal Heart. But yeah, um, it it doesn't get that much more difficult than this anyway. We got the Widow. Um, pin's not so bad. It's the Horsemen that are a little bit annoying. But that went pretty well. The Hollow, also very easy. I think Duke of Flies is already dead. Mask of Inf... What the heck hit me there? Oh, I probably stepped on some, uh, some poop. Is the heart dead already? I don't think so, but I might be able to kill it from here. Oh, I think it was Bloat's shot hit me. Okay, fair enough. There's the heart. Heart's dead. The mask is going to be gone pretty soon. There it goes. All right, now we're on the horseman. I think it goes horseman, horseman, because there's two waves of them. Then you fight, like, conquest headless horseman, or conquest, yeah, headless horseman. Then, um... That might be it after that. Oh, though th you have to fight the Fallen and maybe the Dark One at the same time? Oh, it's the Fallen and the Headless Horseman. This might be the last wave, actually. I gotta... Where's the pony? There... Oh, there's this thing. There we go. We're done! Alright, we unlock Samson's Chains. And, uh, Mom's Wig, which is actually great for us because it allows us to get even more spiders. 
I lost that eternal heart immediately by walking into the toxic poop. Don't feel great about that. Can't go to our deal with the devil. But hey, there we go. We knocked out Samson's uh, boss rush live and on camera. And Mom's wig is going to be cool for us, I think. Even more spiders. We're going to have a ridiculous spider army here. Which I'm excited about. And if we can get that Satan kill, that might be the full Polaroid unlock? Or maybe we just actually need to beat it with Isaac to get the full Polaroid unlock, which would actually be hilarious. If he was the last character, considering that I've spent most of my time using him. Okay, let's cool it a little bit. I really don't want to have to use the Sun card until a boss fight. I know there's HP back there. We probably should go back and get... Oh, we probably will go back and get it. No, we'll wait a little bit. There's no benefit to waiting, except that we don't have to walk backwards. But we do have Child's Heart, so I expect that we're going to get a lot of uh, Red Heart drops regardless. Still don't totally know what those things do, which scares me because I think it might be something massive. Or it might be something completely irrelevant. I have no effing idea. So we're one heart away from Max. You know, the new form of Mom's Heart can do some real damage, but... I don't think it's going to be too bad. We got a double boss fight. And we're back to full HP. We don't have to worry about half heart intervals. Oh, Mr. Fred, I think... I don't get Mr. Fred. He's like a big Harlequin baby. But he's really easy. I don't know if maybe if you get too close, there's like something bad that happens. I'm trying to get the flies, or the, sp the spiders, I should say, to aggro here. Yeah, he's dead. We got the coin purse and no deal with the devil. Okay. Well... Coin purse could be pretty scary at this point. That's one reason why. Stay away from those. And... Wow. Lovely. Well, we'll take our sun card with us. That's a little bit of a disappointment, but I'm still having a great time on the run thus far. How can I complain about double brimstone with poison damage and our absurd fly army? Well, I could complain about it, because I've, I've complained about better, probably. But I'm not gonna. I want to keep my karma good here. Curse room. Not that interested. I really wish that I'd uh, taken less red heart damage so I could have the goat head and be basically guaranteed a Satan, or at least a shoal trip. Maybe not a Satan fight, but a shoal trip. You know what? I'm not taking any more pills. You lost your chance, buddy. And I'll admit, you know, we have the Sun card. We've got some good survivability almost by default as a result of that. But that falls apart if we end up having to actually use it. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, just a bunch of money. Alright, bum friend, this is up to you, man. Give me a second Sun card. Infamous style. Really? Nothing? I going to say, you picked up like 40 cents there, dog. Two of diamonds. Alright, I'll use that. Two of, Ooh. Two of diamonds is not very good for us in our situation, probably for obvious reasons, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm happy that at least he was thinking of me. And this has been, again, maybe my most favorite run in, uh, in Rebirth thus far. I seem to be having a lot of favorite runs in Rebirth. But how can you argue that this one's up there? Look at this Lord of the Spider shit going on. I'm the fucking bone collector, baby. And Infamy even showed up, so we got some old friends too. No, thank you, sir. Every time I see that item, it sparks a debate in the comments about whether or not Bob's brain is good or terrible. I think the answer is it depends on the person. For me, it's terrible, because I'm terrible with it. So I gotta be honest, you know? Sure, maybe maybe peanuts are delicious, but if you're allergic to peanuts, you're you don't have to eat them. That was our mom's heart fight. Already, like, 50% done. Did we skip a wave there somehow? It's like the turrets died more quickly than usual. All right, bad damage on my part. That's all right. Mom's heart is dead. I took some hits, man. And we don't get a chance to go to Shoal. That sucks real bad. What if I, like, walk out, walk back in? Nope. Just the Samson ending. So I think that means we just unlocked It Lives. Yeah. Your future's past awaits. New new challenge. New challenge. Alrighty. Did we lose one part of the Polaroid there? I don't know. 
Anyway, we got a good streak going on here. Samson was a whole lot of fun. I had a great time there. What is that? Oh, that star is for the boss uh, rush room. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that run. I hope you enjoyed seeing me do the boss rush room for the first time. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.